What's up, everybody? Peter here. How is everybody doing today? We are going to unbox the newest Elgato gaming capture card. It is the 4K60 Pro Mark II, and it has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. This is the original 4K60 Pro Mark I. Look at this. And I've been using this for the past month. The reason for this one, the Mark II, for me personally, I know it has 240 hertz, right? You can do instant game view just like the original, but you can also do multi-stream, which is you can open multiple applications and use this capture card at the same time, which before you were only limited to one program being open each time. And I used OBS, so I only had OBS open. That's not a big issue. But some people want to record separately. They'll have a separate high quality record without any of the stream overlays while they're streaming. Obviously, I can record while I'm streaming, but it's going to capture my webcam in the corner. It's going to capture my overlays and all that stuff, my alerts. But with this new card, you can have one source open for your streaming, which I use OBS. And then you can open up the 4K capture utility and you can just record high resolution 4K, 60, HDR, all that fun stuff. And you don't have to worry about the webcam or how you look that day or anything. At the same time, while you're streaming, nonetheless, you get 4K, 60, HDR, you get 240 hertz, the multi stream, and for me, Playing in HDR, having HDR enabled on my Xbox One X, plus streaming to you guys at the same time with the HDR down converted to SDR. So that way you guys don't see the washed out colors. Right now, if I wanted to play in HDR and stream to you guys at the same time, you guys would have a really washed out image it would almost look like there's barely any color in the image and that's why i always stream with hdr disabled so even though i have an xbox one x i have a 4k tv i have the best setup right but i can't even experience the hdr because i want you guys to have a good quality stream right i got i want you guys to see a nice picture so i have to disable hdr i have no other choice but with this new card we're about to find out if this is gonna solve those problems. All right, let's get right into it. Let's unbox this thing. Now don't let this small form factor fool you guys. Just cause it's smaller doesn't mean it's not as good. Not only is it as good, I think it's better and it's exceeding the original because 4K 60 HDR, you got 240, you got multi-stream. I mean, for the price, are you kidding me? The only thing it doesn't have, the original had is the heat sink. I want to install this thing. I want to see what it does. Let's check it out. Okay, so we have the capture card installed in my PC and I've downloaded the 4K capture utility from Elgato's website. I'm going to recommend everyone to restart your computer after installing the software. Now, I'm not going to lie. I spent a little bit of time trying to figure out how to get the HDR to SDR conversion to work. I could not find one step-by-step -step article or video or Reddit post explaining any of this. After learning about a way to get into some secret options in the settings, I had a better understanding of what was happening. In order to access the secret menu, you must hold down control while clicking the settings button at the same time. Doing this will give you two new options under the device tab. One says, enable HDR tone mapping on device 
when closing software. And the other says, use HDR tone mapping on the device, requires software restart. Now at this time, I do have a support ticket open with Elgato, and they are going to get back to me regarding the issue about not seeing a tone mapped image in OBS, even with these settings checked off. While I'm waiting for a response, I did come up with my own solution, which I think will get the job done. Tone mapping is very difficult to achieve. Elgato says it does this in hardware, but what we can do using the Elgato software is mess with the picture settings to make the colors look as close to an HDR image as possible. So until I get an official response from Elgato about if I'm missing a step or doing something wrong, I've come up with my own solution and I think it looks great. All I had to do is mess with the picture settings to replicate an HDR image. Under brightness, I brought it down to negative 5. Contrast, I brought it up to 20. Saturation, I put it on 80. And the hue, I lowered down to around negative 30. Now, again, you're going to want to do this on your own and try to see how the image looks for you. But to me, this is pretty darn close and acceptable way better than having an almost black and white image. Now if Elgato reaches back to me regarding this, hey Peter, this is what you have to do, you're doing it wrong, this setting is wrong, or you have to download this update, I will let you guys know in the description of this video below. Please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.